Hi friends, welcome back to our channel Through the Lens. In this episode, let's see some of the beautiful places in Tirumala along with glimpses of Padmavati Temple and Sri Kalahasti Temple. Without further ado, let's start. On the second day of our Tirumala trip, we checked out of the room at 9 o'clock in the morning and started our journey towards the 7 must-see places in Tirumala. Srivari Padalu, Chakratirtham and Shilatoranam is in one direction from Tirumala Temple and Japali, Akasha Ganga, Papa Vinasanam and Hathiram Bhavaji Jiva Samadhi which also includes the Venugopala Swami Temple is in another direction. All these places can be seen in half a day and to cover all these places one can hire a jeep which costs Rs 150 for a round trip or take a state RTC bus and visit these places. However, the state RTC buses is not available towards Srivari Padalu route. The state RTC bus costs Rs 55 up and down. En route to Srivari Padalu, first we get Shilatoranam. However, we proceeded further to have Darshana of Srivari Padalu. It is believed that this is the place where Lord Vishnu first set his foot when he came down from Vaikuntam. To have the Darshana of the Srivari Padalu, one has to climb around 300 odd steps. It is a very nice place with pleasant climate and surrounded by tall pine trees. Situated in the forest on the peak of Narayanadri hill range, Srivari Padalu is one of the important pilgrimage places in Tirumala. You can find the beautiful Indian giant squirrels, also called as Malabar giant squirrels, in this forest range. This peak offers a beautiful panoramic view of the surrounding hills. Srivari Padalu Mandapam is at a distance of 6 km from Tirumala Balaji Temple. It is located to the north of Balaji Temple. Srivari Padalu timings is from 6 am to 6 pm. From Srivari Padalu, we came to Silatoranam. Natural Arch, Tirumala Hills, a notified National Geo Heritage Monument, is a distinctive geological feature 2.5 km north of the Tirumala Hills Temple near the Chakratirtham in the state of Andhra Pradesh. The arch measures 8 meter in width and 3 meter in height. This place has a garden for kids to play. Also, some birds including peacocks can be seen here.
a small hike need to be done from Shila Toranam to reach Chakratirtham. It's a running stream of water along the crevices of mountains that makes a small waterfall before falling into the pond and said to have an ancient story. It is believed that Lord Brahma wished to absorb penance and to cleanse this place, Lord Vishnu plunged the Sudarshana Chakra. The Sudarshana Chakra fell into a place which later came to be known as Chakratirtham. This place houses Swayambhu Lingam and Sudarshana Chakra. We can see here the statue of Lord Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami as well. This is Chakratirtham, which is very next to Shila Toranam. It's a very great place to see. From Chakratirtham, we started our journey towards Sri Venugopala Swami Temple. Hathiram Babaji Jiva Samadhi and Sri Venugopala Swami Temple is situated next to each other. It is at a distance of around 3 km from Tirumala Balaji Temple. As the story goes, a long time ago, a holy man came to Tirupati. One sight of the Lord was enough to make him an ardent devotee of the Lord and he decided to stay on, setting up an ashram near the temple. His devotion to the Lord was so complete and so real that the Lord himself came to play dice with him every night. The temple of Venugopala Swami, a form of Lord Krishna, is another place of interest next to Hathiram Babaji Jiva Samadhi. This temple enshrines an idol of standing Krishna with a flute.
ವೇಣುಗೋಪಾಲ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಡ್ ಅವರ್ ಜರ್ನಿ ಟುವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಕಾಶಗಂಗಾ ಎನ್ ರೂಟ್ ಟು ಆಕಾಶಗಂಗಾ ವಿ ಗೆಟ್ ಜಪಾಲಿ ಆಂಜನೇಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಹವರ್ ವಿ ಡಿಸೈಡೆಡ್ ಟು ವಿಸಿಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ There is a lot of greenery around all these seven places which is very soothing. ಆಕಾಶಗಂಗಾ ಈಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ತಿರುಮಲ ಬಾಲಾಜಿ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ದ ಸೇಕ್ರೆಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕಾಶಗಂಗಾ ಈಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಡೈಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಶ್ರೀವಾರಿ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ ದ ಬ್ಲಿಸ್ಫುಲ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕಾಶಗಂಗಾ ಈಸ್ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇಕ್ರೆಡ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಫ್ರಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಂಕಟಾದ್ರಿ ತಿರುಮಲ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಈಸ್ ವಿಸಿಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೀಕ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ್ವರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ The place has been mentioned in the Vedas and it is believed that the falls originate from the holy feet of Lord Venkateshwara. It is said that in the earlier days the priests of the temple carried water from here to the temple in the wee hours of the morning. This custom is still in practice but restricted to special occasions only. Of late, water lines were laid into the Srivari temple to fetch water from the Akashaganga. This place is unique as it has both mother goddess Anjana Devi and son god Hanuman at the same place. It has water flowing next to the temple. The water is pure and tastes so good. The water is very cool here as it flows down from the forest mountains. From Akashaganga, we proceeded towards Papa Vinasanam. To reach Papa Vinasanam, we had to cross a forest check post. We had to pay an entry fees of Rs. 30. It is located at a distance of around 7 km from Tirumala Balaji Temple. It is believed that the holy waters of this place dissolve the sins of the devotees. Hence, this place is known as Papa Vinasanam. It is also believed that this water comes from the feet of the Lord. This was a natural waterfall, but now the water is channelized to flow from multiple outlets. However, currently due to the pandemic, the water flow is stopped. There is a temple of Ganga Devi in this place. A reservoir is constructed here which supplies water to the whole of Tirumala.
there is a variety of eating options available at this place. From Papa Vinasanam, we headed towards Japali Anjaneya Swami Temple. The Anjaneya Swami Temple at Japali Tirtham is one of the least known and most worthy places which one should not miss during a visit to Tirumala. This holy place is in the Anjanadri Hills. After a kilometer trek into the woods, the darshana of Lord Anjaneya Swami is really a memorable experience. It is located at a distance of around 5 km from Tirumala Balaji Temple. The temple of Lord Anjaneya Swami is located amidst deep scenic woods. It is also told that tourists can also trek through the dense forest to reach this holy place from Tirumala. It is believed that Lord Rama along with Sita and Lakshmana stayed here with Hanuman. Sage Jabali had meditated Lord Hanumanta and the Lord had appeared here before him. That is the reason this deity is called as Jabali Anjaneya Swami. Sita Kund and Ram Kund ponds are within the temple premises. This place is believed to have been blessed by Lord Hanuman. One can find a tree at the entrance of the temple with the formation of Lord Ganesha at its base. But for a couple of stalls near the temple, not many eateries are available at this place. After getting the blessings of Lord Anjaneya Swami, we started our descent from the Tirumala Hills.
While driving down the hills, we made a brief stopover at the Sri Prasanna Anjaneya Swami statue. While climbing the Alpiri Mettu, one can see this statue as well. Padmavati Temple is the temple dedicated to Goddess Padmavati or Alumelu Mangamma, the consort of Lord Venkateshwara Swami. The temple is situated in Tiruchannur at a distance of 5 km from Tirupati. A pilgrimage to Tirumala Tirupati is considered incomplete without the darshana of Goddess Padmavati here. Like the temple in Tirumala, this temple also has special entry tickets. Free prasada is also distributed to the devotees. Sri Krishna Swami Temple and Sri Sundara Raja Swami Temple are sub temples within the Padmavati Temple. Sri Sundara Raja Swami Temple is dedicated to Sri Varada Raja Swami and his consorts Sri Devi and Bhudevi. There is also a temple dedicated to Lord Surya Narayana opposite to Padma Sarovaram. Sri Kadahasti Temple, situated 36 km away from Tirupati, is famous for its Vayu Lingam, one of the Panchabhuta stalams representing wind. The sanctum does not have any windows, yet the lamps lit here flickers. It is believed that the wind comes from the linga here. The temple is also regarded as Rahu Ketu Kshetra and Dakshina Kailasam. This is the only temple in India which remains open during solar and lunar eclipses while all other temples are closed. Gnana Prasunambika Devi Temple, Ganesha Temple, Srivalli Devasena Sameta, Sri Subramanya Swami Temple is also in the temple complex. It is at this place a spider named Sri, a snake named Kala and an elephant named Hasti prayed Shiva and got Moksha. Bhakta Kannappa Temple can be visited here on top of a hill. After doing puja in this temple, people should go directly to their home. Accordingly, we headed back and reached home late in the night. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. We will see you in another video. Till that time, it's bye from us. Thanks for your time.